what I'm doing today is building the, uh, basically it's like a, a wall thimble or a pass through. And uh, I used, I have a five inch section of pipe and a four inch section of pipe and an old uh, metal shelf that I'm using to build the box. So this is what it looks like. So, as you can see, there's the five inch pipe. And here's the box that I'm welding up. So it'll eventually have a piece of four inch in it as well, which is that's what size my flue pipe is for the stove. And this will get a flange mount. I'll weld another piece of uh, tin to it, and I can screw that right to uh, this thing's a, a pole barn basically. So it's just got like lamp three uh, two by sixes all sandwiched together, and that's how they build the the main posts. So this is going to get attached to one of those. I'm pretty anxious to get this thing in this room because winter's coming on. Um, an example of Wyoming weather. Yesterday was beautiful. 77 degrees, no breeze. It was sunny, hardly a cloud in the sky. Absolutely gorgeous. Today, right now, I just looked at the weather channel, a high of 34. And the wind is howling and it's just night and day difference and don't get me wrong 34 is really not really all that cold but to go from 77 yesterday to 34 today man it just it kind of wakes you up you know so i really want to get this in the wall or get the stove in the room before we get into those days of that are consistently below 30 and then the stretches that we have which are usually you know two weeks long of 20 below it'd be nice to have the stove so that's why I'm kind of hustling to get the box built. All right, here we go. Finally got it uh, parcel. I mean, it's installed. I'm going to do some more with the hearth here. And uh, made a little deal so I can store a little bit of firewood that will be dry in here. This will all be enclosed. The sides, I'm thinking about actually just building doors. And I can use that for storage under there, like canned goods or whatever and uh so anyway got the uh the stove pipe well it's actually exhaust pipe four inch exhaust tubing so it's it's pretty thick compared to regular stove pipe um got this section in here there's the box that i built passed through to the outside um i don't know i just got this little <laughs> little piece of tin back here as a heat shield for the moment and i'm gonna not let this thing just burn without attendance for the first several times that's for sure so anyway we're going to uh burn the the rest of the, the stove itself and a bunch of the other stuff the paint's been burnt in and and everything's good but this section right here has not been burnt so it's going to smoke a little bit and stink so i got the window open and the air going through here and a door open out in the shop so yeah we'll see how it does mild burn mild heat try to cook off that paint. Ah, oh, it's going to suck. Hmm, that ain't cool. Well, hmm.
Well, that apparently those elbows made a huge difference in draw because that horizontal section of pipe is making it burn not acceptable. I mean, that is nothing like it used to do. Smoke coming out the door. I mean, it's, hmm. I hope I can rectify that situation so that I don't have that problem. It needs to draw. I mean, once it gets hot, I'm sure it'll go. I mean, it's going now. Hmm. Hmm. I can't be filling my room with smoke every time I go to start my fire. Now it's roaring. Now it's drawing like a son of a gun. Hmm. Well. I ain't going to give up on it yet. Alright, shall we try this again? Today I went ahead and added uh, a 36 inch piece of double wall pipe outside because yesterday all I had on it was an elbow and I think that was my biggest problem. So, one way that I've been checking my draft is by going like this. Let's see if hopefully this will show up. You can see how it pulls it in to the stove. So that tells me that I have draft. So that should be good. Hopefully, no more smoke trying to come out. <laughs> so let's see. Well, I mean, at least there's no ash trying to get blown out of there. That's a good sign. Paper all rolled up. I find it best if I twist and roll it up as opposed to just wadding it up. It lays a little better in there and uh, tends to burn longer. pieces are kind of big actually, but yeah, we'll try it. I think it's going to draw off much, much better this time. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at it. Yeah, that's what I'm after. It's for it to draw that direction <laughs> which is exactly what it's doing even with the door wide open listen to that So I guess that 36 inch piece of double wall makes a huge difference. It was a piece of uh, Duravent that somebody had thrown out in the scrap yard or whatever, so I said, claimed. Oh yeah. My little makeshift heat shield. Oh sure, gotta have it. Because it will get blistering hot. <clears throat> I've, uh, let's see. Yeah, there's 480, 620, almost.
almost 200. And that's what we want to see. A little pass through box. 80. Of course, the stove's not all the way hot. That box usually gets up to about 120. So. And the wind's howling outside and still drawing good. Pretty excited about that, gotta be honest. Yesterday, I had the, uh, this section of the pipe right here was off limits on this. And this runs up to 949 degrees. Anything over that is off, they call it high limit or whatever. So it was at over 950. <laughs> We're at 950. <coughs> I like to just, I said, let's just get it hot, see what it does. You know, I'm here with the fire extinguisher. I'm ready. So... I said, let's torture test it, and I did. And then when the stove cooled down, that little bit of smoke that was in that the previous uh, section of video, that was nothing like it was when the stove cooled down. Once the stove cooled down, it just poured out of it. And, I mean, it poured out of the ash pan. It poured out around the rope seal. It poured out of the, the fresh air inlet. It was crazy. So set off the smoke detector and I had all the windows open and a fan going out the the door thingy there and man what a mess but 36 inches of double wall above the roof line now man huge difference I think she's gonna do pretty well this winter it gets it blistering hot in here it's almost too much stove for this is uh 10 by 15 with the high ceiling, you know, a little loft area or whatever, but the actual footprint of the room is uh, 150 square feet. <clears throat> it's almost too much stove for that. I'm anxious for it to be 20 below zero. Mm. Looking out the window and hopefully the, you know, it'll be, the snow will be blowing sideways and I'll just be snug as a bug in a rug.